Hello, friends. In the final episode of this week, where we are talking on personal development, today we take up the topic of success. Every single person I know, his aim in life is to be successful. And in my interactions over so many years, I have found that success is very personal. It varies from person to person. And I have also seen that the reason why a person wants to be successful is also different from one person to another. So not only is why, but what of success, how do you consider yourself successful, is a very personal thing. And it is something that works only for you and you alone. So when we say there are different people who have different reasons to be successful, what are some of the reasons why one would want to be successful or why one wants to achieve success? One of the things is that they can make an impact on others. More often they want to make a positive impact, but it is important that they be able to make an impact on others. For a lot of people I have known, especially in my career, they want to be successful because it leads to much better personal development. It leads to recognition. This is true of both at work and outside. It gives that person a sense of achievement when he's considered successful or even if he thinks himself to be successful. Invariably, success leads to a better quality of life. And the last point I want to make, but it's not the least important. It is a very significant factor in probably every single person. Because at some stage or the other, success helps them to have what I call a brag factor. Yeah, I, I, it's true. It's true of everybody, you, me, every single person I know. So that black factor is something that comes with success. As I said, the definition of success or how people consider themselves successful differs from person to person again. For some people, when they have a higher salary and earn more, that is a sign of success. For others in a career, when they get a better job title, moving up the ladder from a manager to an executive to a CEO, that is a measure of their success. For a lot of people, just a bigger house, a bigger car, more holidays abroad maybe, that is a sign of success. A few of the people I know, club membership. They flaunt their membership. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm a member in three of the clubs in Mumbai. And we all know how expensive that is. So at the end of the day, it comes to a higher earning, a higher affordability. But club memberships is a sign of success. And there are many such materialistic acquisitions that define the success. It can be one or more of many individuals. However, I know a significant amount of people for whom success is very different. Their measure of success is not any of these materialistic things. And invariably, it is these people, I'm going to define the, the factors in a few minutes, for this kind of people, success and happiness is far more durable. It lasts much longer. And personally, in my opinion, this is the real success. A lot of people I know just run after money. 
and they'll do anything for money, give up all their values. They consider themselves very successful. I don't. Okay. So what are the things that really make a man successful, at least in my eyes? A man who has better health, mental health, and peace of mind. A man who has good physical health. A person who is able to do and pursue whatever he likes to do without having been dominated by any urgent needs of the materialistic kind. A person who likes what he is doing. Very often we do something, we may not like it, but we do it because we have a factor of our success which can only be achieved by that. People who are truly successful are happy. They want happiness. And significantly and very importantly, they want to have what I call my own time. So these are the people who I consider as truly successful. Now, while we agree, all agree that achieving goals being accomplished at work, getting accolades and promotions at work and a better pay brings about happiness. And we feel that we will attain some level of success. But experience has told me that there are two major drawbacks in this kind of happiness and success. The first thing is that such happiness is typically very short-lived because you've achieved your goal. And as it happens in life all the time, especially in your careers, the goal sh shifts. Your target keeps shifting. And as your target shifts and the next goal comes into view, that momentary happiness you had is gone. And now you have to work towards the next goal to be happy. And this is not really permanent success. Also, and this is something I, I've noticed with a lot of people, including myself in the very beginning of my career, is that you may have multiple tasks. You have, say, 15 tasks, 10 tasks. You achieve 9 out of the 10 very well, very successfully, and everybody is saying, wow, fantastic job. I never thought you could do it. But you don't achieve one of those tasks, which may in reality be pretty insignificant. But by nature, by human nature, we get fixated on that one task which we did not achieve, which we did not complete. Okay? And that, that fixation, that unhappiness that comes out of not achieving the task, overshadows your happiness at achieving nine of the tasks and makes you a very unhappy person. So that happiness is not even short-lived. It just doesn't come. Another challenge that I have seen to being happy and successful is of a natural tendency to compare ourselves. Maybe with your kin, maybe with your neighbors, maybe with your relatives, maybe with your friends, whomever it is. But we tend to compare ourselves. And when it comes to success, I think everything in life is, is relative. It is relative to the person whom you are comparing yourself with. And these comparisons invariably make us unhappy because they will have something which we aspire for, which we have not attained. And maybe we may not even attain it soon enough. So it makes us very unhappy. And it leaves us with a kind of sadness and emptiness. We are never satisfied with what we have. And we always want to achieve more and more and more. And as I said, because of our comparison and because most other people think that way, we want to actually succeed 
in the eyes of others more than in our own eyes. And that is a big challenge. Because when you are doing that, you are basically objectifying yourself. And when you objectify yourself, you are going to be so harsh, ruthlessly harsh on yourself. Okay? And by doing that, you will sacrifice love and fun, which is a crucial and integral part of our lives. So, true happiness will evade you at all times. And what invariably happens in such a situation is that you are constantly validating yourself. Am I successful now? Having done this, am I now successful? Which is not really important. Because you are validating yourself to see how somebody else thinks about you. And that is not important at all. So to prevent ourselves from getting into this rat race, you need to be wary of certain things. And one of the first things you need to do is to set an enoughness parameter. I have enough of this. I am now satisfied. I have a house that is good enough for me and my children. I am now satisfied. Aspirations are great. But being unsatisfied is going to make you unhappy. Maybe I like to differentiate between the words unsatisfied and dissatisfied. Don't ever get dissatisfied with what you have in life. Stay unsatisfied. Want more? I can understand. Work for it. But let that enoughness factor be your satisfaction level. And then that satisfaction level will give you happiness rather than searching for happiness with every acquisition. You need to recalibrate your relationship with money. As I said, some people, money is their God. doesn't help. You need to reevaluate your friendship with your achievements. Your relationship with your achievements is important, but they cannot be your controlling factor in life. Re-examine your relationship with the factors of recognition and status. How important they are. Re-examine, re-evaluate and redefine them. And while we're talking of relationships, I think one of the most important things for you to do is to have some me time, soul search, and revalidate the importance and the desire that you have to manage other relationships, like relationship with family, friends, etc. Because they are the ones who will give you the ultimate happiness. There are some habits you can form to become more happy and successful. And you will need to use immense willpower and determination to forge these habits. Because a lot of them are against basic human nature of comparing yourself with your friends, relatives, neighbors, etc. that we just spoke about. And you need to learn how to eliminate detrimental choices from the various choices you have in life for various factors. You need to be aware of your habits, how they operate and how they affect you because you need to be able to control them so that you don't go into that unhappiness state. Define your values and never ever forget them or compromise them. A successful person always respects and adheres to his values. Sleep well. Get up fresh. I have found that generally speaking, even when I use an alarm, you get up as though you are getting up from a disturbed sleep. So to get up fresh, try to cultivate 
and develop your body rhythm in such a way that you will wake up at that fixed time that you want to every day without an alarm. Don't wake up to the jarring noise. Especially in my case, my alarm is very jarring. I have learned and it has helped me in life to always create a side hustle. People may laugh at you when you do that. But create a side hustle. Let that side hustle be one that gives you immense joy, happiness and something you like doing. And if it necessary, you should be able to monetize it. Because that can become your alternative or additional source of income. And as we all say, don't put all eggs in one basket. So don't put all that you have in just your one job that you are doing. Spread it around. Set smart and well-defined goals. They really need to be smart I don't need to explain what SMART goals are. I'm sure we have all heard of it. Okay. If you've not heard, Google it. I'm not going to waste one minute talking about that. But you need to define each of those factors, S-M-A-R-T. You need to exercise regularly. You need to understand and accept your failures. None of us are failure-proof. We will make mistakes. We will fail at times. But what you need to do is to learn from them so that you get better and do not repeat the same mistakes. Always keep a positive attitude. Stay in the company of successful people. Especially people who are more successful than you. Because then they become your motivators. Don't get jealous about them. Use them as your motivation. And constantly on a daily basis, keep improving yourself. Iota by iota. It doesn't have to be a jump in improvement every single day. It's not possible. Find your life's purpose. A lot of us don't find our purpose. We do something just because we, we have we have no choice, so to say, or we are not looking at the choices. So find your life's purpose. If you find your life's purpose and follow that, rather than just maybe a passion at work, you'll be far more successful and happy. And to top it all, never quit, never stop, never give up. You fall, get up, shake off the dust, start running again. So these are important. A very important thing for successful people to develop is the people skill. I've seen a lot of people who have tremendous potential, but because they lack people skill, they never rise above a certain level. And to develop people skill, you need to remember certain basics. Take it for granted that not everybody you meet is going to like you even for no apparent reason they will dislike you. Some of them will worry you. Some of them will irritate you and frustrate you. Some of them may even anger you. It's all right. You stay focused on your values and your goals and things will go great for you. Whenever you communicate with somebody, communicate with clarity. Do not ex uh, assume that they understand everything. Begin a connection in good faith, but verify and ratify that faith or their intentions at the first possible chance. Learn from others, even those whom you don't like. There is always something to learn from everybody. And train yourself and learn to work with those whom you do not like. Finally, I'd like to talk about an idea that I had read a few years back. And what that whole uh, article was about is dividing success into two components. One is what we typically call success. And the other is what that author chose to call significance. And it made a lot of sense to me. 
Success is about fortune, fame, and having a fan following. Three Fs. Significance, again, is about three Fs. It is about faith. It is about family. It is about friends. Achieve both success and significance, and you will be truly happy. And to achieve both success and significance, you need to have a strategy, as always in everything in life. You need to define the vision and what you want to achieve. Define what you want to become. Then evaluate where you are today and draw a roadmap of how you are going to get to what you want to become. So basically, to be happy and successful, you need to do the three Ds. You need to decide what it is you want in life what it is that your success parameters are, what it is that you want to become. Determine how you are going to get there and how you are going to stick to the plan and then just do it. Okay? And you have to make this unique to yourself. One formula does not fit all. So you cannot take a formula even from your father or your brother and say, okay, this is my success formula. It does not work. You need to develop it and hone it yourself. So, get on to being successful. Let me have your comments. Some of you have requested that based on one of my previous listings, I should do an episode on time boxing. Give me a week. I will work on that and I will let you know. Uh, not too many other significant messages. I think we have all been too busy. I hope you are listening to these things at least. Thank you. Have a great evening. And have a great weekend.